I found the stone April 14th. I saw the little shape of a woman. So I thought, let me take a photograph of it. I did. I blew up the image. The image looked like this. Like this. And I immediately recognized the feline alien woman. I had a mental block. I suppose it was because I saw an alien and I knew it was real and it was on the rock and it looked old. So having a mental block, I couldn't see anything. I knew there were things here, but I just could not see them. And so after three days, I saw the alien horse. It didn't startle me so much because there is one on Mars that the rover picked up and it's a statue or something sticking up out of the ground and it looks like this. If you look it up, many people say that's fake. Well, when I found this and I went to the uh, UFO disclosure site, about 18 out of 20 people say everything's bogus. They just have it in their mind that it's all fake, even though they look at it all the time. They're trying to break through that barrier themselves. I, I can say I was a believer before I found this, but I did. And so I saw that, then I saw that. Antonio, please, you are just... This doesn't... I don't like YouTube how it just it needs to have a and it needs to have an audio taper on it. It's a little too linear. Okay. So let's not get too carried away. I did make another video. I was able to see things and then I came up with a couple softwares that were free. And uh, GIMP was one. It's shareware that's like Photoshop. I hate the name Photoshop because it sounds like somebody is manipulating something. There is zero manipulation on this stone. Zero. It's all filtering and uh, exposure and a high pass filter and saturation. Things like that that you would correct a photo with without details. I'm not changing any details. Um, so, so you can't see anything on the stone. Well, the way lighting works for photography, apparently you can, because all of this you can see. Um, these are kind of in, I'm looking at a 43 inch monitor with these blown up. So it's slightly blurry, slightly. I'm assuming if you're on a laptop or something, it looks pretty clear. Um, anything can be interpolated. And so that you can do some stuff like this. I mean, if you interpolate things, you can uh, fill in the pixels properly and make it larger. So um, see how this is smaller, but it's clear. I would love to make posters or something, or get a flatbed, uh, flatbed printer, flatbed 3D printer, and to make this three-dimensional would just be amazing. Okay, so that yeah, when I got the GAMP, I was able to do this. Saturation's up a little bit, um, but. Uh, for 18 and for the year 1235 there's a lot on this that um, is not congruent with the era like the machinery this is all mining this stone came from West Virginia around mines 
uh, loads of gravel ended up on a lot of people's driveway I would say between 10 and 30 years ago this gravel ended up on our driveway which is mostly dirt and it surfaced I was walking on crutches after surgery and because I was going slow I was able to look at the ground in front of me and I just took a notion let me pick up a stone so I did it was nothing and because I was on crutches I couldn't like throw it or anything so I just pitched it forward pitched it forward grabbed my crutch went forward and when I came down on my crutch there was that stone that I pitched and it was laying right next to this one after about 10 weeks of learning how to use the uh, software I thought let me apply it to a UFO photograph I did this is the Battle of Los Angeles in 1942 and these are all our spotlights shining on UFO it was a two-day situation and my my uh, rendering with the uh, image software revealed quite a bit first of all there are two things that are on the stone that surfaced on this photograph one being this guy appears to be this guy they seem to be have a lot in common um, yeah he looks sort of robotic here you can't really tell what he is here now we're talking about advanced civilizations here is the feline woman I didn't even see her I saw something down here I can't even tell what that is now but I circled it but I didn't even catch her can you see her her hair side of her face looking this way her eyes look sort of Asian and uh, an ear over here somewhere feline sort of attractive kind of like cats <laughs> uh, here's another one this looks like from the 1400s if you can see it it's a face some sort of a crown um, here's someone walking profile uh, I basically cut these out of I think I uh, reversed the image with this and then kept these the same and just put them in the same spot and then we have this going on here's some sort of little plane type thing and there is uh, you can sort of see there is someone here with like goggles on and firing I did add a blue tent to this to differentiate between these two uh, when it comes to black and white you can see blue and white better and so the only manipulation I would do would be to change black and white to a tent of blue um, there's this right here you're either going to see a black face with white glasses or you're going to see a blue and white face with a big happy face like little black glasses up here and a big happy face or you're going to see a black face with white glasses big white glasses and there's the opposite of it 
I can't seem to see that big happy face in this. Now I can switch between the two, no problem. Um, some days are easier than others, I guess. Um, I didn't even notice this big like monkey or something up here. I noticed it enough to put it there, but I just kind of forget it. Uh, I've done a lot since it was July 3rd. Um, I think it was a little bit before July that I figured out the UFO situation. And then I thought, well, let me try it on cloud pictures. Um, there is uh, another UFO. It's called Lubbock Lights uh, in 1952 in Texas. The Lubbock Lights. This was basically a black sky with white dots, white lights. And there is a lot going on in here. Uh, something you catch your eye right away is this face here. And if you just sit and study it, there is a lot to see. There are several canine dog uh, beings. Um, most of them are cute, you know. Most of these beings are kind of cute. Some of them are a little scary looking like that. And there's another one. Um, yeah, this one here, you can see it's like a beak and a big mouth. That one shows up here and there. Um, I would say, like on the stone, it's like artist rendition or something, correct? What is it in the sky? Are these artists doing it? So, on July 3rd, I remember it was Jim Morrison's birthday, or no, his, I'm sorry, his death day, the day he passed, 1971, it was 50 years. I'm a big Doors fan. Not fanatical, but they're my favorite band. First band I heard when I was 10 years old on my own, and so I've just loved them ever since. Uh, there's a, a lot of dogs here. Lots of dogs. And you have to get your eyes adjusted. There's nine of them. You just have to adjust your eyes. And here's one that you can pretty readily see. Nose, eyes, mouth. On that stone, there are several um, dog dog humanoid, I don't know what you call it, uh, canine aliens. We're not aliens. <laughs> here's another one. And I wrote here, look, top right to lower left, dog A. Top left to lower right, dog B. Um, my eyes aren't focused for it. There is a dog B. And then now just barely tilt tilt to the right. And maintain dog B. And you will suddenly see it's a woman or a baby. Well, there is a woman, I suppose, yeah. There's a lot of uh, shape-shifting going on. The, uh, the old woman and the beauty thing where you see it two different ways. That goes on a lot. Okay, here was the first cloud that I rendered. This was uh, as it was taken. And you can see the eye up here. You can see a W in there. Kind of see a little silhouette here. That. And then this is it, with a little high-pass filtering, a little mustache, a little nose, a little eye. Hey, man. And then this, I don't know what to call it. It just looks like a 1950s 
salt shaker or something. I don't know what to make of it. Uh, there's another little guy down in here. Looks like he has on like a sailor suit, a little tie. Another little dude here. And uh, something there. Maybe a dog. Let's go on here, and there's that eye again. And this is here. Looks like he's toting coal or something. And, uh, well, I want to show you that last. Okay. This was, I was on the alien, dis or the uh, UFO disclosure Facebook group for about two weeks, and then I bailed on it. Um, they posted my pictures when I first found the stone for a day, and then they stopped doing it. And I thought, okay. So I posted pictures on other people's posts, you know, as a reply and um not a lot of action there you know i don't know if this this kind of information scares people or what but man this is life man this is life this is your life we get 80 years life itself is a trip throw something else in the mix roll with it man okay so there's stuff circled a little bit. And you'll have to look at my other videos to see me go through this. There are many things going on here. There's like a little ant behind some glass or something. There's a little sort of Native American looking humanoid. She's got on a sweatshirt with a Z. Or sweater with a Z. He's got on a helmet with a coily cord. This is uh, 785 years ago. And uh, it's, it's marked seven, It's marked 1235. And then there are certain things that, that are from that era. Uh, certain things that are drawn and head dresses and things that are from that era. Okay, so the first cloud that I rendered, that I took the picture of, were these. I believe I did this one first. It has a car in it. It has a bit of a shapeshifter here. It can either look like a, a thinner cat. And that's all I've seen for the last few times I've looked at it. But there's something like a, a, a little guy here that shows up more often. I mean, that's what I see more often. I don't see him. I mean, he looks kind of like a Rastafarian or something. He, his hair but I'm not seeing it. He has something in his hand. Looks like it's got a number two on it. Two seem to be all over the place. I don't get it. There's just twos everywhere. Uh, there's an upside down three. There's somebody else. Face with red hair. And they're always different, different textures, different situations here. I was driving from Columbus to Southern Ohio, and I took about 20 pictures. And um, I've done a few. Um, I started to do them Bob Ross style, where I just take one that I haven't done, and then I do it at live, you know, so that you guys can see it. And I need to get it down to 
more of a science. I could I would get up right on the mic and, you know, talk like this, but I'm not sure if that's cool. I don't want to put people to sleep. Uh, let's see here. I do have a bit of uh, dissociative identity disorder, I must warn you. I'm typically the same person, but sometimes I go, I go off a little. Look at this. Just odd. A lot of them are comical. It's kind of funny looking. You know, also, if I'm going, look, look at this here, you might not even be able to see anything I'm pointing at. Uh, because uh, by the same token, I saw a different person, a little guy here. Now I'm seeing kind of a little, a little uh, calf or something. So if I go, there's the calf, there's its eyes. Well, the other guy probably has different things I'd be pointing at. But they're in the same area. I'm just not seeing it. And then I did this one. And there's actually a lot here, but I only got this little car at first. And I thought, there's somebody on the back of that. The little guy in red. And there's an eye. And there's all kinds of other stuff, but I haven't done it yet. And I just noticed it like a couple weeks later when I was trying to make one of these videos. And uh, what's on the back of the car? These guys. This is kind of a breakthrough because it's undeniable that you're looking at a little mouse in a red shirt. <laughs> and uh, this looked like a radio next to him. But I think it's his uh, compadre there sitting next to him. Some of these things have antennas on them. He's got little bright things. <laughs> Different things show up. There's other stuff up in here. There's sort of layers sometimes too. If you if you change your your um, exposure or filtering different things come forward or back usually there's something far more prevalent in the front okay then the the uh, Free divers, they go down, I guess as much as 600 feet without any snorkel, or any, without any oxygen. And uh, I thought, well, maybe there's something under the water. Sure enough, there's a horse. With less refinement, there was very clearly like a Judy Jetson looking girl here with like bangs. And uh, she's still there, but it's almost like there's other ones that are around her. And she had like some kind of a little triangle thing on her forehead. And then I did this here. This, Mount Rushmore. 
takes a little bit for your eyes to adjust, but this looks like the wall sections. There's a vehicle back there. There's a guy here, and I'll show you. Okay, there's that wall. There's some vehicle. There's a little person here. And, uh... This here... Whoops, it would be up in here somewhere. That right there. There's that. And um, this right here. Appears to be somebody who's working on something that, that's their back is turned. And uh, not quite sure what's going on here. But this is like um, current day. You don't get that a lot. Most things are like bizarrely like afterlife or aliens or interdimensional or whatever. This is uh, this is life. This, I mean, this is us. Uh, I didn't really think about that. So here's this. There's a guy playing his guitar. There's a flag back here. Whoops. And so, that's gotta be saying something. For people and current things to be here associated with this. If you ask me, there's some strong, strong emotions involved with our love for our country. And uh, it just gets turned on that much more strong when it's being challenged and uh, I'm so glad I watched Yuri Bezmanov Bez Bezmanov Yuri Y-U-R-I Bezmanov B-E-S-M-E-N-O-V 1984, 1985, 1986, he made videos, um, interviews, he was interviewed, sit down interviews, he, he I was guest professor, he was former KGB espionage, he did things that they've been doing here to brainwash people. And I'm glad I watched them when I did because it prepared me to see what is actually happening. And uh, I love our country. It's given us so much. Yeah, on the backs of uh, on the backs of a lot of people. Thousands and thousands died in the Civil War to end slavery. Thousands. Of all colors. More people were married who were black the beginning of the 60s than who were white. The percentage of black marriage was higher than white marriage. So, you know what you're going to do. I've got family who is 
I am the minority when it comes to patriotism. I'm as uh, liberal as anybody, but I believe in freedom. So, that's enough of my speech. Okay, now, now we're off in deep space. We're in deep space. 163,000 light years away. Light years away. It takes light 163,000 years to reach Earth. Right? What do you think you would see out there? A lot of nothing, right? Well, what do you see? Uh, I never saw that till today. I just saw this book. It has like a little A on it. I zoomed in and got that. Everything else was all messed up and blurry, but I could get that A. Um, I just noticed, too, that she's like wearing boots, and her legs are here, and she's sitting here. And maybe this... That might not be an A. It might be like part of uh, like a monitor or something and that's just the stand attaching to this thing. I didn't see these things yesterday. I didn't catch any of this. Now let's go down here. And there's other things here. Okay. In one picture, this is clearly like, oh, like a tail of a mermaid type thing where it's like separated and then it goes up and then there's a being here a man or something and there's his face um, this is the same thing I just uh, did it with different filtering I think I used a little bit of uh, saturation. <laughs> if it's really bright colors, then I tend to use saturation. Okay, so she's sitting there still. And do you see that looks like a monitor beside her? Looks like, you know, a monitor and flat screen. With like uh, water down here or something. A little boat or something. Let's go back up here. Yeah, it's a little more. Some sort of monitor. And she's sitting beside it. I say she just because it looks like she's got like a... Grace Jones hair or something going on. Oh, well what you call it. It was Grace Jones, right? Okay. Yeah, this one will take you for a loop, man. Because you start to see a lot of things. It's like, what was that? Like the head. This looks like a little disgruntled dude smoking a red orange cigarette or something but okay so there's this guy and he's got like something here in front of him maybe that's a steering wheel or something but he's sitting here and keep in mind that like that right there is um I think they said what did they say? Ten times bigger than the sun. These bright ones are like ten times bigger than the sun. 
and a hundred thousand times as hot. Okay, ten times bigger than the sun, and so she's like the size of, uh, she might be the size of our galaxy, for crying out loud. That's hard to imagine, man, but that is what it is, if that's what it is. This is NASA reporting back, folks. Uh, and, and what's funny, there's video, right? Um, where's the video? I put it in here. Oh, these are the pictures. Let's go on back over here. Yeah, this right here. The 30th anniversary. If you watch it, it's almost like they had to go out of their way to, to not show some of these things. And uh, she's talking about it, and they're showing different views and things. Obviously, nothing like that would show up or come up. And I'm telling you, with just your naked eye, the original picture. And if you just take this and you just look at it the same size as that, you know, fill your screen after you cut it. Not even fill the screen. Gimp has like a working area of like this. And so you cut that out and you make it not even that big. Maybe twice this big of, of this. And then you see that woman. The woman's right there. But even, even the naked eye, you can see this little long-faced guy. You can see this, um, well, it looked like a bear yesterday. Yeah, it looks like a bear. You can see it. It's kind of like, how can you miss that, man? Well, they wanted you to miss it. Because it's too much for people to handle, man. Maybe that's why nobody's looking at this. Maybe Susan at YouTube and company see it and say, forget it. We're not going to let this, this out. Nobody's going to see this. And I, I wonder, I, I relate it to the agenda. You know, I relate it to the agenda. Um, where does it fit in? Uh, I don't know if anybody is prepared for this. But it's there. And uh, some people take it matter-of-factly. I kind of take it matter-of-factly. Now, I'm very tripped out that, um, what is it, 163,000 light years away, it takes light, the speed of light. It takes eight minutes to get from the sun to here eight minutes to get from the sun to here. Now imagine 163,000 years, light years of traveling. Instead of traveling for eight minutes, traveling for a year, times 163,000. That's pretty far away, it's pretty off the beaten path of mankind, humankind, correct? See, it's my belief, my philosophy, that it's God's universe. 
who is God. God is the highest understanding that we can fathom. The highest understanding we can fathom might be a fantasy in our realm of thinking. What do you mean forever? Well, we mean forever. Well, in the realm of forever, pretty much everything happens. Well, what is the spark? What is the spark? The Big Bang? Well, it's bigger than that. It's deeper than that. It's wider than that. It's convoluted inward more than that. It's expansive. It's everything. And the consciousness is a consciousness bigger than that? Is a consciousness bigger than that? If so, then it has to be responsible for it. I go with God, and God is the highest understanding that there is. If I don't understand God, at least I can head that direction. So that's what I'm doing. It's about giving people some confidence. Confidence that comes from not knowing. Why is it there, there's a woman made up out of millions and thousands of miles of, of stars? Why is she sitting there like that? Why? Why? You'd think that that far away it would be like some other kind of a being. Well, there are some other kinds of beings. But there seems to be places for horses and, and bears and things all over the place. Even in the room you're in right now. Um, but that's okay. You know why it's okay? Because, okay, you know how I said it's unfathomable that all of these people haven't really rocked the boat, right? It's because for the most part, we have the same belief in this higher understanding. And there's people who hate that. They hate that. And it's not atheists, because a great deal of atheists have something very similar with believers. They have something very similar. They have an atomacy. They have a completeness, and so they respect that. It's the people who don't really, I don't know, I'm not even going to say anything, I don't know. The floaters, the ones that can't, you know, don't test, test, don't, don't try to see a boundary in a spiritual realm that, um, that reject the esoteric. That's the thing. The people who reject out of fear. Well, when you have a higher understanding and, and you're not rejecting out of fear, you have faith and it's about caring. 
But you still have a threshold of, okay, enough's enough, we gotta do something. That kind of thing. I mean, you, you push me too much and, you know, something's gonna happen. But we know better than to start it. And we know better than to believe somebody who starts it. So that they're doing us a favor by making these fake things. Because it keeps us at bay. And they think that because we're at bay, we're docile. No, we're not docile at all. Because there's something else at work. There's something else at work. It's not just an idea. It's, it's a reality. And it can make changes. And does make changes. So... I think I've said enough. I guess my videos are about the visual, the philosophical. Okay, now this, uh, I did see quite a bit here. And, uh, yeah, each one of these things are circled and you can, you can make out what's in each one. Um, there's been times I've looked at this and I can't see anything, but now I can see each thing. That's good. Each thing. And then this area right here is this. And in this, now I can start seeing it all. Yeah, I see everything. Yeah. It's kind of cute because there's like a the dad dog and he looks like he's kind of tired and then he's got all these other puppies around and he just looks kind of frazzled <laughs> and uh i think there's like the mother i think she's holding on to a little dog when you see it you'll just think it's kind of cute I see that the dogs are um, they're good. And there's another little shapeshifter going on. Goodness. Okay, there he is. He's got a big mouth. He's got underbite. He's got like a Dutch boy haircut. <laughs> There's like another little guy behind him. Human, little human, cartoon human. Very regular looking human, like something you'd see on Hallmark cartoon or something, if there is such a thing. He's got like pointing up here. I don't know if it's antennas or what. There's a dog sitting, little feet, S sitting up like a little penguin almost. There's a man, long faced man. Yeah, he looks like a regular man. Okay, let's get on through here. Um, let's keep on going here. Uh, okay, here's Oz. Drug activity, impaired drivers. Okay, this is in Ohio going south on 35. But my 
might be Route 7 near the next to the um, river. And so, OZ. Now, this guy, can you see him? There's his belly, and then he's got like a long, he's got like a uh, clam type face. Like long and thin. And eyes. And then there's uh, another little guy here. And it's just like an O. You can almost make that guy totally disappear. O and Z. O, Z. Like Oz. Or ounce. Ounce of weed. This could be a three. I guess if you stretch your imagination. Three ounce is the limit in Ohio that you can have. There's a guy up here, he barely made it in the frame. This wasn't cropped or anything. He's got green sunglasses on. Oh, there's a little profile. I took these pictures with the window up and I didn't realize I had the flash on. So a few of these have flash hitting the glass. Um, yeah, there's other, somebody up here. Never really studied it. Not quite sure. shown everything stuff going on up here um, there's three people up here when I zoomed in there's another like, face here looks like somebody sitting You get like a ball of light right there. That ball of light is uh, 10 times bigger than the sun and 100 and some thousand. Let's see here. 10 to 20 times more massive than our sun. Sparkling centerpiece is a grouping of bright, hefty stars, each 10 to 20 times more passive than our sun. Seemingly isolated blue nebula over here, um, to lower left, NGC 2020, this is NGC 2014. NGC 2020 has been created by solitary mammoth star 200,000 times brighter than our sun. 200,000 times brighter. Like, if it was where our sun is at, it would just disintegrate the earth. Right? I mean, you'd, you'd get a tan in like three seconds. And the global warming fiasco um, the fines would just be enormous. That's where all this is headed, you know, the, the fines and uh, massive control over, over um, the air, the earth, the air. Even though a volcano puts out more hydrocarbons than humans can possibly imagine. It's about 
banking on dirt. I mean, what are they gonna go after next? Grains of sand on the ocean? There's got to be a point where we all say this is pathetic and stupid. I mean, this is really dumb. It's not hip. Hip went out the window, man. Hip went out the window. Heck, hip was Berkeley College. Berkeley, you see Berkeley back when, you know, people cared about free speech. That was hip. And the concept, the concept of communal, you know, it wasn't, um, it, it wasn't horrid. It didn't whore it. Now, it wouldn't work because it never works. That's just a fact. It never works. And it didn't work. Most of the communes, they'd realize it that the person who's most outspoken is a real asshole. But some people held together, and they had their little select people, and everything's A-OK. -okay. But, uh, generally not. And you know, a lot of people became uh, nomads, loners even. They became loners. Communal living as a loner. It can be very satisfying. I'm doing that currently. Uh, partly by choice. Um, I lost my son five and a half years ago, and he was my family, and so... Uh, I live um, day to day, and I appreciate everything. I just appreciate everything. I appreciate life. That's how I go forward. I've never been lonely in my entire life. I don't know what lonely feels like. I do not know what lonely feels like. I don't know what that is. And um, for that, I'm grateful. Okay. So, is this about it? Is there anything else? I think I've covered pretty much everything. If this was a live stream, I'd say... Um, Thanks for the uh, chat money and uh, click, well, I can say click the like button. I can say that. I can say leave a comment. And I can say share. Please share. I'm a little uncomfortable having this information and it not being clear that somebody else has it. It kind of bothers me. I just need to know that someone else has it and that somebody else cares about it. And it would just make my day if somebody uh, went, you know, up here and um, and read this and tried their own hand at like a picture of a cloud or a UFO. It would just make my day. And then leave a comment and then maybe like put the picture on uh, Dropbox or something. Anybody can have a Dropbox. And and then, like, leave a link. I 
I think it's a positive thing, not a negative thing. People want to know if we're the only people in the universe. Well, we're not. Um, okay, I'm going to show you the last thing that I didn't show you. I said I would save it for the end. Okay, I grew up in this town right here, Hilliard, Ohio. And this right here was, <coughs> I'm so sorry. I can't. <coughs> this was the barber shop where the old guys got their hair cut. Um, the men who wanted flat tops and like regular haircuts behind the ears. In the 70s, that was very common. It's common now, but no, back then it was kind of like you, you had the same haircut exactly as somebody else. And uh, the police officers also went there to get their haircut. And the firemen. The fire station was right around the corner here. Like this little strip right around the corner from that is the fire station. And um, this is now called Old Hilliard. It's Main Street. It goes up there and then it curves around to the long strip that's Main Street. And then parallel to this, um, if you go up Norwich, is Cemetery Road, and that's the main road in Hilliard. It used to be nothing but a gas station. Now it's like the main thing. So this used to be kind of like the town, the downtown. Well, not really. Well, yeah, it did before that other strip on Main Street. But this has been there forever, I'm assuming. And um, police officers got their haircuts there. And the kids didn't want to. I went in there once, and I just saw a bunch of good old boys in there. And they scared me <laughs> and uh, I don't even think I went in there to get my hair cut I went in there with a, a friend who got his hair cut when we were kids I used to have to go with the Chapmans or I wanted to go or we hung around with each other so I, I just went Mr. Chapman he would give uh, he would give Jack, Jim, and Alan, like three bucks a piece or whatever, and they'd have to go over to Mr. Ernie's, Ernie's barber shop. And they'd sit there and get their hair cut. They all had fireball red hair. And I think, um, for some reason, one of them went here one day. Okay, and so, this man here, who will remain nameless because I didn't get his permission or anything. He made a painting of this, right? Well, he came out and had his picture taken. And then he put it on Old Hilliard Facebook site or whatever. And um, just a little bit about what's going on here with it. And... Uh, so, above the barbershop, in the cloud, is a policeman, it appears. And there's other stuff up here. I think there's another... Um, I swear I saw, like, another officer or something over here. I'm not seeing it right now. And there's some other stuff going on over here. But there's a, a police officer, somebody else right there. And wires, they always show. Uh, you can see on wires, the electricity kind of. Okay. And so, 
He shows his painting. And above his house is a cop. Now maybe he saw that. Maybe he just painted the clouds and that's... Typically an artist would see something like that. But, uh... He's already painted this and showed up to have his picture taken and there's another one. So, how's that? That's pretty cool there. So, that's it. I'm gonna sign off. I think this is maybe a keeper. I'm just gonna go ahead and post this one. I might just post one every time. Go through all the crap just like this. Make it a little quicker each time. This was definitely quicker going through this stuff. And then I got a little tied up down here. And um, that's that. I'll add more to it as I go. I'd like to see your pictures. See, four comments. Mine, removed, mine, mine, mine. I can't even get family to leave a comment. I can't even get family to leave a comment. I didn't ask them to. I just thought maybe they would. Um, if you listen to me this long and you leave a comment, wow. Yeah, this is one that I really, really like. Because it's really busy. Multicultural, even. That guy's wearing like a Middle Eastern type thing. And uh, this guy's wearing a Kufi hat. And there's a little mailbox there. There's kind of a signature there. And didn't really notice that. There's always something else to notice. There's a man here. I thought that was a guitar, but this guy is... He's got some sort of tool, and then this guy's reaching over. And he looks like he's got on the hat from, like, um, the uh, 1700s. Like one of those um, revolutionary hats. Very interesting. There's a guy, looks like he's got overalls on and something going on there. I think this was a low resolution picture. Let me see here. This is the bottom of this, this right here. And I call this the Jim Morrison cloud. That's it, folks. This is it. Follow if you want. Thank you for watching. And we will sign off. Bye-bye, folks. I don't have a sign-off yet.